Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I had a hair transplant yesterday with Dr. Alexander at the Toronto Hair Transplant Surgeons. I'll be making daily videos for the next 30 days showing you my healing process and my hair transplant journey. I left the clinic yesterday with a bandage around my head covering the harvested area. So at the, for me, the back of the head and the sides, and it wrapped around to the forehead there. It did not touch any of the implanted hair grafts. I was told to leave that on overnight and then take it off in the morning. I was also told to sleep on my back. Now, I am not a back sleeper at all. I always sleep on my side or my stomach. So what I did to help is I put two pillows behind my head just to be comfortable, keep it slightly elevated. And I wedged a pillow on each side of my body just to help me prevent rolling over in the middle of the night. I was still quite numb when I came home yesterday, so pain was very minimal and my sleep was not bad at all. I would say I managed to get four or five hours, which was better than I was expecting, so <laughs> that's good. So upon waking up this morning, I did take off the bandage as directed. I also was told that I was to start doing a 10 minute soak in the bathtub. Now I do not own a bathtub in my place, I only have a shower. So I was directed to fill a spray bottle or a mist bottle with warm water and kind of do the same thing, just soaking the hair with that. I did notice it was starting to dry out before the 10 minute mark. So I was just kept reapplying that spray and repeating that until the 10 minutes was up. Um, I did notice when doing that, that because the wounds are still quite fresh, there was some a bit of blood and some discharge coming down. So I was just wiping that off with some gauze. I did also have a towel wrapped around my neck just to stop water from, you know, getting my clothes wet or getting any sort of blood on my clothes. And speaking of clothes, you'll notice today I'm wearing a loose fitting shirt just so that I can easily put it over my head without touching the hair grafts. It's especially important the first days after a hair transplant, just be really careful with those grafts because they're so fresh. So I'm just gonna sh kind of show you right now how everything has been going after day one. So turning my head to the side, you can see where the hairs were harvested on the side and you can see where they were implanted at the top there. And here's the other side there. Yeah, so this is day one for me. I'll be sharing another video tomorrow and day two is to come. Take care. So I'm day two post-op hair transplant with Dr. Alexander at the Toronto Hair Transplant Surgeons. Uh, I had a great night's sleep actually, so that was nice. One word of advice is to cover your pillow with something. They did give me, me this to put on the pillow and it was useful as there was some bleeding that happened overnight. So just to protect your pillows. Um, and I also just finished doing my daily soak. So I misted my head where the grafts are for 10 minutes. You can probably see it's still a bit glistening right now. But yeah, not too many changes from yesterday. As you can see, it looks kind of the same. And yeah, everything's been going well. Pain is minimal. Just at the sides of the head where they had harvested and then just below where they had implanted, it's a little bit painful. Nothing major. I haven't had to take any pain medication or anything. And I've been getting daily texts from the clinic letting me know when I can start doing things. So today I think I'm actually going to go out to the store and wear a cap. So I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow. But so far day two has been good. So I'm here day three post-op hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. I had another good night's sleep last night on my back. I did put one of those pads on my pillow just to stop any blood from going through. On the pad this morning, there's only a couple of very small drops of blood. So that's a good sign that scabs are forming. Pain today is minimal, even less than yesterday. So that is good. I did end up going to the grocery store yesterday. And when I went out, I did use a cap, a baseball cap to hide my hair transplant. We are told not to use anything tight fitting. So no like beanies or toques or anything like that, that would be touching the grafts. So I did have a hat that actually worked out quite well. It does have a Velcro strap. So I just kind of loosened it up to put it on and then I just kind of put it against my forehead and gently put it back and then just tied the strap back and just made sure there's lots of room here. It's not touching at the front or the back where the hair grafts are. So that worked out very well. 
One thing I haven't mentioned yet is, you, you know, I went to the grocery store yesterday, so there's a lot of lifting and bending, but just make sure that you're lifting and bending with your knees, not your back. You might get a little dizzy in your first few days after the hair transplant, so always just use your knees for that. Other than that, I just finished doing my soak today. So I had the mist for 10 minutes that I do in the morning and the evening. And then I also just took a shower. So in the shower, I just did from the neck down, just making sure that I'm not touching the hair during the shower. But yeah, if you can see today, it looks somewhat the same to me. Yeah, not sure if there's too much of a difference looks wise, but I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. Nothing major else to report for today, but I'll let you know how day four goes. So I'm here day five post-op hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. I did miss a day yesterday, day four, but there was really nothing to report. I received a message from the clinic saying just to stay on course, no changes to be made. So yeah, it was just a smooth day yesterday. Today I did get a message from the clinic saying that I'm able to stop doing the 10 minute soaks in the morning, the evening. And instead I could in the shower fill up a cup with some water and some shampoo and gently pour that over the head instead. Not rubbing it in at all, just pouring it over just to kind of get the scalp a cleanse. So I'm going to start doing that this evening instead of doing the 10 minute soaks. But yeah, other than that, like everything seems to be scabbing over, it looks like, if you see on the sides. It is getting a little bit itchy just with the scabs, but nothing unbearable. Just trying to fight the urge there, but yeah, everything looks good. Nothing else really to report. Pain is pretty much non-existent, and yeah. I'll let you know how the soap goes in the bath with the shampoo but tomorrow will be day six, I'll keep you posted. So I'm here day seven post-op hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. I didn't post anything yesterday just because there's nothing really to report. I was just doing the shampoo cleanse. So I was just mixing a cup of water with shampoo and pouring that over my head in the, the shower yesterday. I did that today as well. That this morning I did get a message from the clinic saying that I could start using hair fibers to put on my head. So those are just to really mask the hair transplants so that's not visible for people. I've just been using a baseball cap for that, but that is a good option for people if they would prefer to use hair fibers. You can start doing that on day seven. Other than that, there's nothing really to report. The pain is very minimal. And if you can see, everything looks like it's kind of scabbing over. And yeah, there's nothing really to report. Just sleeping on my back still till day 10. But other than that, I will keep you posted till tomorrow. All right, so I'm here at day 11 post hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. I did take a couple of days off just for the weekend. It's Monday on day 11 now. So just an update for day eight and nine. There was no real changes. I was just told to keep on track. I was doing the showering from the neck down and just doing the hair rinse with the warm water mixed with shampoo and just gently pouring that over my head. But yeah, no changes really. The pain is literally none. I have no pain whatsoever. So that's been great. A little bit of itchiness. I had to catch myself a few times because now that there's no pain, I was kind of, you know, <laughs> wanting to itch, but I was catching myself, so that's good. But yeah, then, so day 10 was yesterday. I did receive a message saying that I could start exercising if I'd like, and I could just resume normal showers. So that was pretty exciting. I was excited to do a normal shower, which I did yesterday evening. The one thing that they did mention was for the scabs on the scalp in the shower, just using the pads of my fingers, just to kind of rub them, just to see if anyone, any of them would loosen and fall off. And I was kind of surprised to see how many did fall off. So yeah, you can see today it's day 11. And you can kind of see like my hairline, you're starting to see what it was before. Quite a few grass fell out during the shower. 
which, you know, I'm kind of upset about. I was enjoying this look. <laughs> I know they'll grow back eventually. And then one thing that they mentioned for today, day 11, is that I could start using minoxidil or a hair laser cap if I have one. So I don't use the laser caps, but I did get the minoxidil. So I picked this up from the Hair Transplant Center. So this one's specially formulated. It's a 12.5% minoxidil, which is much higher potency than like over-the-counter like Rogaine that you would get. So you only need to use it once a day. Other like minoxidils usually have to do twice a day. So this is one time less, which is great. But yeah, as you can see again, like everything's kind of falling off. Looks like the scabs are like kind of gone. I did get like a lot in the shower yesterday coming off and just like little tiny black dots that were like the scabs in the graphs. But yeah, looks like everything is on track. I'm excited for the progress and I'll keep you posted for day 12. All right, so I'm day 14 post-op, had the hair transplant two weeks ago, exactly, and everything's been going really well. I'm actually very surprised about how quickly I was able to recover. I've really had no issues whatsoever, no pain. It's just been a really easy process. Everything's been kind of resumed back to normal, so I had mentioned in my previous videos, I'm just doing regular showers. And then just with the shampoo, I'm still using my, the pads of my fingers just to go over the graphs to see if any of them fall out. As you can see, a lot of them have. So you can definitely see my original hairline there. And then, yeah, all the scabs, I think, are pretty much gone for the most part. Other things to mention, I've been doing minoxidil every day. So I did mention before, it's... 12.5% that I've been using once a day in the evening before bed. I've also been doing, taking an oral medication called finasteride. So Dr. Alexander did write me a prescription for this. So you take it once a day. It's just an oral medication and it helps promote the hair growth, as apparently especially in the crown area of the head, which is great. And then, yeah, I did also book a PRP session. So PRP is platelet-rich plasma, I believe. <laughs> so what they do is they take blood from your arm and they inject it into the scalp and it also helps promote healthy hair growth. On the day of actually my hair transplant, they did a PRP soak of the hair graft. So they did take out the blood, they put it in a centrifuge and it separates the platelet plasma. And then, yeah, they just soak the grafts in that before putting them in my head. So yeah, that was kind of like a first session, I guess, but I'm able to do another session a month after the initial hair transplant. So I have booked that for the end of March. And then last thing is there is the laser cap option. I haven't purchased one yet, but I am looking into that. So I just am trying to do everything that has been recommended for me after the hair transplant, just to make sure, you know, I'm getting the optimal you know, results just because, you know, you do spend money on a hair transplant. Why not go all out and just <laughs> do everything that they recommend just to help everything grow better. So yeah, two weeks out, I'll keep you posted in the next couple of days, but nothing really to report. Sleeping's been good. I'm back to just normal sleeping. I don't have to sleep on my back. No pain. I've been wearing a hat mo mostly to go outside. I always wore hats before just because I am have quite a receding hairline so just doing that as normal but nothing else to really report other than that everything's been going smoothly so i'm here day 18 now post-op hair transplant with dr alexander i believe last time i posted was at the two week mark day 14 so nothing really to update on everything's kind of resumed back to normal Showering's normal. The grafts, again, I'm just using um, shampoo in the shower and just gently using the pads of my fingers just to rub them. And yeah, as you can see, it looks like a lot of them have come out. Everything's pretty much healed. And yeah, I, like literally no pain at all now. Yeah, it's just like nothing happened. <laughs> I did for the first time go out this weekend. So when I went out, I just wore like not a baseball cap. It was more like a 
a toque looking thing. So yeah, just to hide the hair transplant because, you know, it is still kind of visible that I have had one. But yeah, you could also use the hair fibers I've mentioned before, which are really good if you don't want to wear a hat. But other than that, everything's back to normal, I'm doing my normal social life things. And yeah, I'll keep you updated and show you more progress as the weeks go on. All right, so I'm here exactly three weeks after my hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. As you can see, a lot of the grafts have fallen out. Scabs are all gone now. No pain, anything like that, no bruising. Sometimes it does get a bit red, but apparently that's normal. And then yes, other than that, yesterday was the first day that I went back to work. So I actually work from home four out of five days a week. But yesterday was the first day that I went back in. I did end up having two weeks off after surgery, just by coincidence, I didn't even book it off, so that worked out well. But yeah, yesterday I went in and I do work in the healthcare field, so I wear scrubs when I work. So I did buy a scrub cap, which I don't usually wear, but because it is quite obvious that I had a hair transplant still, I thought this was a good way to like mask the head while I was working. It worked out really well, no one asked any questions. Understandable that not everyone works in the healthcare field or has a job where you can wear something on your head. But I've mentioned in my previous posts that hair fibers are really good at masking those bald spots in your head. So that is an option for you. Other than that, everything's been going well. Back to regular social activities, back to normal life. I'm just kind of waiting for all the grafts to fall out and in a few months, the hair should grow back. So I will keep you posted in a couple days with another video, but everything has been going great. I'm here day 24, post hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. Nothing's really changed to be honest. You can see my hair, there's still some grafted hairs there. So I was reading through the package and it says they usually come out anywhere from two to eight weeks, the grafted hairs. And then the follicle still remains. So just because the hair is falling out doesn't mean it's not gonna grow back. It just takes some time. So yeah, two to eight weeks is when all the grafted hairs usually fall out. And then it usually takes anywhere from four to six months for it to start growing back. So yeah, as you can see, there's still some hairs that are hanging on for dear life there, but slowly but surely they are falling out. And yeah, just looking forward to four months from now when it starts growing back. But I just stayed on course with the midoxidil. I've been taking the finasteride, the oral medication, and I have my PRP booked at the end of the month. So I'm on the right course with doing everything that I need. But yeah, I'll keep you posted. I have a few more days left until the one month mark. But yeah, very happy with the progress so far. And again, pain, it's non-existent. All the scabs are definitely all gone now. And just kind of waiting for everything to fall out and regrow. <laughs> All right, so I'll keep you posted in a couple days with an update. All right, so I'm here day 27, post hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. Now don't be fooled, my hair didn't just grow in like this overnight. <laughs> I'm just showing you an example of what it looks like to use the hair fibers. So I happen to have some from like ages ago. When I worked at a hotel, I used to wear them all the time. Yeah, so it's just this fine powder basically that you just sprinkle on your head. It comes in all different colors so you can match your hair color. And yeah, it just kind of bonds to the hair on your head and pretty much stays there all day until you wash it out. So it's a really good way for masking any receding hairline or if you're balding in certain areas. I found this stuff to be really useful. They do sell it at the Toronto Hair Transplant Surgeons, so I'll probably end up picking up some there when I go for my first PRP session because the stuff I have is pretty cheap. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you what that kind of looks like. I love the product and it's fairly inexpensive, great way, especially after the hair transplant when things are starting to you know, shed or grow back, just to hide those areas where it's quite visibly bald. So I will keep you updated. I'm almost at my one month mark but I will have another video to share soon. All right, so I am exactly one month post hair transplant with Dr. Alexander. 
So just gonna kind of give you a visual. As you can see, there's still some hairs there, uh, some grafted hairs that I'm waiting to fall out. Uh, a lot of them have fallen out already. Um, so yeah, usually um, by eight weeks, they should all be gone and they'll grow back in about four months time. Um, so I'm just patiently waiting for all this to happen. I'm staying on course, as I mentioned, doing a PRP. I have that book for the end of the month um, using the minoxidil and finasteride. Um, so all these things hopefully will give me a great result for my hair transplant. Um, I will be taking photos once a week uh, for an entire year just to kind of show the whole progress of the hair transplant and how everything goes over time. Um, so hopefully the results are great. I don't have a question that they wouldn't be, but <laughs> all I have to do at this point is be patient. Um, but yeah, just staying on course with everything. Um, this has been a whole fun experience, just sharing everything. Um, you know, I was actually very surprised throughout this whole process about the healing and recovery and how easy it was. I thought there would be much more discomfort. Um, there's only a couple days at the initial days after surgery where it was uncomfortable. But other than that, it's been a completely seamless experience and just seems like everything is a bit textbook and going according to plan. So yeah, it definitely surpassed my expectations of what I was expecting after the surgery. Um, I thought I would be in pain for at least a week or two and that was not the case. Um, yeah, everything worked out so well. So this whole experience has been great. Um, the whole team at the Toronto Hair Transplant Centre has been so nice and helpful. I've been receiving those texts every day um, from them, just kind of telling you what to do and keeping me on track. Um, yeah, I have nothing but great things to say. Um, but I will be posting some photos once a week for a full year, um, just showing the progress. And yeah, we will be in touch. I do have my PRP appointment booked for the the end of the month um, so I'll probably be taking some videos and sharing that as well well thank you so much for following me throughout this journey it's been a lot of fun posting these videos and I hope it was informative for you